Hey there here, so welcome to the VRTX channel. So Google finally showed up again with Project Muha. This is a new upcoming high-end mixed reality headset to introduce the new operating system Android XR to the market. This happened in a TED talk with Google that was able to actually show some advantages and some new features of this new operating system and the way to actually interact with it. I actually made a video already like playing with it. But yeah, it's very nice to see that this headset actually exists and it keeps evolving and some details like the pass-through quality, for example, and how snappy it is and the useful of AI that seems to be uh, kind of the main feature of this new headset right now. But yeah, enough talking from me because I thought it was very interesting and for some reason it's not actually on YouTube just yet. I thought it was a good idea to actually upload it here. So yeah, let's see Project Muhan again in action in this video for the second time. Let's get into it. Let's do it. You'll notice we start grounded in the real world, and I'm going to control the entire system with my eyes, hands, and voice. But where things get really interesting is when we invite Gemini in as this conversational companion that can come with us anywhere. Hello. Hey, Gemini, can you bring up my trip planner for me, please? Of course, opening up your trip planner. Cool, but I left these windows really disorganized. Can you help with that? Of course I can help with that. No clicks, no keyboards, it's just the conversation and the AI is taking action. Okay, some more audience participation. Someone shout out a name of a place you want to visit. Cape Town. Cape Town. Let's go to Cape Town. Okay, sounds fun. Uh, can you please take me to Cape Town? <coughs> Certainly. Let me help with organizing the windows. <laughs> Awesome. And can you also take me to Cape Town? I can certainly do that. Oh. Let me take you to Cape Town. And we're very organized as we go there. Perfect. <laughs> as you can see, the AI is taking Max's request, figuring out how best to answer it, opening up the Maps app, and from there, he can actually explore anywhere in the world in this 3D view. OK, this is pretty incredible viewing the world from this angle. I can even zoom into city levels. But what's really interesting is having an AI here who can see what I see. Can you tell me more about the significance of this place? I can indeed provide information about Table Mountain. Table Mountain holds a profound significance, deeply rooted in both its natural splendor and its rich cultural history. It has long been a spiritual and cultural symbol for the indigenous Khoikhoi and San people. It okay, stands very as a good, Gemini. <laughs> I'll just come back to this later. It also does look like a table. That's handy. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, Max, uh, let's bring this closer to home. How about exploring winter sports, seeing that we're in Vancouver? Okay, let's get some inspiration for Sharam. Can you please show me 360 videos of this? Sure, here are some 360 degree powder snowboarding videos. Okay, I'm kind of new to snowboarding, so hopefully this video will help me learn. Although this looks already way more intense than I think I'm ready for. Um, what was the name of that trick? That's a backside 540 with a grab. Okay. The AI knows exactly what Max is looking at, even in rich video content, and can answer any question in real time. Max, are you sure this is Whistler? You know, Shram, I actually have no idea. I've never been here before. But let's find out. Uh, what run do you think this is? It's probably one of the ungroomed runs in Summit Bowl, or the top section of West Ridge on Mount Bachelor, as they are close to the summit and face north towards Three Sisters and Broken Top, the prominent mountains visible in the background. OK, Mount Bachelor, Oregon. Got it. OK, let's have a little bit of fun now. Uh, let's have AI narrate this video. Somebody in the audience, shout out a fun narration style, like nature documentary or something like that. We can't do actors, but we'll, uh, we'll get to that at some point. Um, any other suggestions? Horror movie. Okay. That's going to be, it, it might be gory, but right, let's go for it. It's slightly dark, but let's do it. Um, can you please describe what you're seeing as if you're an overly enthusiastic character in a horror movie? Oh, darling, this is simply marvelous. A desolate mountainscape? How delightfully ominous. 
Prepare for a chilling dance with the unknown, where every gust of wind whispers tales of icy terror and lurking shadows. Okay, Gemini, that's great. <laughs> Return to more it positive things going. another day. Yeah. Okay, Max, I know there's one last demo, and you've been apparently practicing your farming skills. Yes, Sharam, I've been excited to get back to my rural roots and also、uh, embrace one of my favorite things, which is playing games. But it becomes a whole new next level experience when you have an AI by your side. Both to help keep you company as you play, but also to help you learn how to play these kind of games in the first place. So, for example, what do you think I should do next here? It looks like this is early in the game in Stardew Valley. You need to earn money, so try planting some seeds. First, use your hoe to till the soil and then plant your seeds. It looks like you have some parsnips. Since it isn't raining, you'll also need to water them with your watering can. Seems like a lot, and maybe robots will do this for us one day. But for now, I'm going to have to return back to my farm later. For one last thing, can you please give a playful two sentence summary of all the ground we covered today? We soared from organizing a digital realm to traversing snowy mountains, and even found time to farm some virtual parsnips. Quite the adventure today. Quite the adventure indeed. Thanks, Gemini. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Max. We're entering an exciting new phase of the computing revolution. Headsets and glasses are just the beginning. All this points to a single vision of the future a world where helpful AI will converge with lightweight XR. XR devices will become increasingly more wearable, giving us instant access to information, while AI is going to become more contextually aware, more conversational, more personalized. Working with us on our terms and in our language. We're no longer augmenting our reality, but rather augmenting our intelligence. Thank you so much. But here we have it, guys. What do you think about it? Do you like the direction they're taking? Like,、uh, mostly focusing on.、Uh, AI、uh, with this headset, or would you like to see something more from it? Also, in terms of like using VR, maybe a pair of controllers, something like that. Do you see a future in this Android XR platform, or it seems just something to compete? Or trying to compete with Apple、uh, with their platform directly. To be honest, I can't wait for Android XR to actually drop for many different headsets because that is going to be a new operating system and、uh, pretty much all the Meta apps will be compatible out of the box if you think about it because Meta Horizon OS is actually based on Android, so、uh, it might not need much work from developers to actually port their applications over. And、uh, yeah, VR will actually be a thing over there as well,、uh, beside the Fact that we're gonna have a new operating system that seems to be pretty snappy and work pretty well. But hey, let me know what you think about it. And、uh, as always, if you like the video, like, if you like this, is like, subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you love the channel, join the button there. Let's turn further. Also, the Patreon. Thanks to the Patreons who join the channel, of course. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching.